Good evening, class. I hope you're having a blessed day today. Today is our introduction for our BSM Advanced Curriculum. Today is our first week. There is a 12-week program built into this class. It's 12 weeks. Today is your introduction, and then we have 11 topics after that. But today, I'm going to go over the curriculum. I want to talk about how to take the class and then we're gonna we're gonna go over just a few things this will be the absolute shortest lesson of the entire curriculum because we're not actually going over any material today we are just going to be discussing the curriculum in an overview and answering any questions that you may have if you are in our advanced curriculum that means you have taken our level one bsm discipleship curriculum now that standard class, that 26-week program with 23 topics, must be completed to take this class. This class is what we are going to call, we call this the advance. It's all about the fullness of God. In Hebrews 6, it says, Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works, and the faith of God, and faith of God to and of faith toward God, and of the doctrine of baptisms, and of laying on of hands, and of the resurrection of the dead, and of eternal judgment, and this we will do if God permit. And the Lord moved on my heart now many months ago, this was you know back in 2022, about taking the church into perfection. He said taking our church specifically, Blank Slate Ministries, but but guiding the entire body of Christ into perfection, into what we call the fullness of God. And this curriculum is based off of all of that revelation. This curriculum, I call it the advanced because this is the second step. Once you have a foundation laid, and that's what the, the first class is for, that laying a foundation in the word of faith, then you can move on into perfection, which is what this class is all about. Now, the first BSM discipleship class is all about receiving the revelation of Jesus the King. And when you see Jesus the King, you see your identity as a son of God. And that's a powerful revelation that teaches you authority, that teaches you dominion, that teaches you faith and grace, all the basics of living in the kingdom. But the advanced curriculum is all about teaching the revelation of the bridegroom. The bridegroom revelation. This is what this advanced curriculum is about. And when you see the bridegroom revelation, you see yourself as a cherished bride. You see the bridal identity. That's one of the glorious truths in the Bible is that you are a son of God and you are the bride of Christ. You're both. You're not one or the other. You don't have to lay down your identity of a son of God to take forth the bridal identity. You can have both. The same way Jesus is a bridegroom king. He's not just a bridegroom king. He's a bridegroom king and judge. And that's what that end times curriculum is all about. And we're going to be teaching that on Thursday. But the advanced curriculum... Um, out of the three of I, I love all of our curriculums. We have three that we teach live. We do have a marriage curriculum also. We're going to be writing more soon. But the advanced curriculum, I love them all. But, you know, I wrote them. But the, but the, the advanced curriculum is, is, is something I very much cherish. And I, and, I, and I thank God for all the people that are going through this class because we have seven verse-by-verse -verse topics in this curriculum. This curriculum has so much information and so much revelation. As you know, in our standard discipleship class, the classes are one to two hours, depending on the week and how much material I'm trying to share and how much revelation I can give forth. Those classes are one to two hours. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say this. These classes are going to be two hours. Uh, the, the, the Song of Solomon, just to be able to get through four chapters in the Song of Solomon, will take two hours minimum just to go through the material. That's not all additional resources and additional revelation. Like That's just the material in the curriculum. This curriculum is very, uh, what I would call, intensive. There is 
uh, probably twice the amount of revelation in this curriculum than there is in the standard discipleship class. There is going to be a lot. It's half the time, but there's twice as much revelation packed into these weeks. There is going to be a lot to study and go over every single week. So I want to make sure that you know this is level two for a reason. That means you've taken our level one class. You understand how to do the homework, how to read the weeks, take the classes, study the material, and be ready for class every week. Um, one thing I'm going to say ahead of time before we enter into actually teaching this material is I will not be re-going over material that we have talked about in our level one class. So there are certain things that I might have to repeat just to, just to give a clarification point or to expound the revelation in this curriculum. But I will not, re -te I will not be reteaching faith reteaching grace, reteaching the trees in the garden. There just isn't enough time to be able to do both. Uh, without this curriculum being another 26-week program, to keep it at 12 weeks, we do not have time to re-go over material. So this is my recommendation. You have a curriculum. It should be completed. You have taken the other class. I have not removed you. If you have entered in and you have a participant login for a curriculum, you are entered into that curriculum forever. You can go back and read any of the information, study the book. So if you have questions on that material, go back to that curriculum and read and study out of there. Send your questions on that curriculum. But this one is specific to the advanced material. This is going to be a class we are going to move at a very fast pace when going over this material because there is so much to go over. Like I said, these classes will be a minimum two hours. Uh, we might go two and a half. We might go three. I'm going to try to limit it to two to try to make sure we get done at a relatively fast pace. Depending on how this curriculum goes, we might also move this curriculum up in time. We are currently at 7 p.m. We might move to 6 p.m. depending on the request because of how much material is in this and how long the classes start to take us when you factor in questions and answers and everything like that. Now, uh, what I want to talk about is I want to talk about this curriculum key. This is something that was not in the first class because if you haven't already flipped through your book and noticed the BSM discipleship curriculum level one is only black and white there is no color in the book now the advanced curriculums actually all of our level two classes have color now that's done specifically because I gave you a curriculum key I want you to be able to understand the material that's coming forth when studying through the Song of Solomon it's important to know the speaker to understand context to receive the revelation that's in the book. So in doing that, I just decided to go ahead and color code the entire book. So if Jesus is, if you were, let's say, outside of the Song of Solomon, let's say you're not studying those chapters, anything outside of Song of Solomon, it's red letter, like a red letter Bible. So if it's red, then you have Jesus the speaker. Any of those any verse colored solid red, Jesus is the speaker. Now, there are verses in the Bible where I have what's called red and black. Now, the point behind that is if the reference is red, the speaker is Jesus. If the reference is black, then another speaker is quoting Jesus. Now, the reference point would be like when it says Matthew 5.10. Like that part, if it's red, then Jesus is the speaker. If it is black, then somebody else is quoting Jesus. The verse itself will have both red and black in it. But it's important to know that maybe Peter is quoting Jesus, then the reference is black. Maybe it says, and Jesus went and he said, all of that is black, and then what he says is red. And then the cont or the 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 reference is red because Jesus is actually speaking. So that's how you read these. If you have red and black, you have to base it off of the reference code. I did that specifically on all of these verses to make it absolutely clear who's speaking and who's not. Just so you know when Jesus is speaking. Now, inside of the Song of Solomon, there's going to be four different colors. There's going to be blue. 
any verse colored in blue, the speaker is the Holy Spirit. Any verse colored orange, the speaker is one of two people. It is either the daughters of Jerusalem or the watchmen. It's one of the other. And when you read it, you will know the difference in the two. And as we go through the explanation of the Song of Solomon, I will, you know, of course, the answers are on the website. We'll talk about that in a second. But I will explain to you who's speaking when. But just so you, when you study on your own, the orange is the daughters of Jerusalem or the watchmen. Now, inside of the Song of Solomon, the bride is black. The, the, the black verses of the bride... And the red verses are the bridegroom. Now, just as a reference point, if you've never studied the Song of Solomon, there's two ways to interpret. There's the natural interpretation of married love between Solomon and the Shulamite woman. But there is also the spiritual interpretation, which is the interpretation we are going to take in this curriculum when we study us, the bride, and Jesus, the bridegroom. So we would be black, Jesus would be read in the context of the Song of Solomon. And that's important to know when studying that book. Now, I want to talk about uh, some of these lessons and then uh, go over just a few last minute things about the website and then we will finish with our introduction to this book. I just want to go over how the material is listed out so that way you have um, appropriate context going into it. The first topic is the fullness of God. Now, before we actually even move into unpacking, we must first have a foundation in the fact that there is such thing as fullness. There is such thing as walking in perfection. So the first week is going to be all about understanding the fullness of God. The second week is the love of God. We need to have true and firm, appropriate, and biblical definitions of love. Love right now is so misunderstood in today's culture for people to say, I love you, and then abuse people. And that's not real love. So we want to have a true understanding of the love of God. And that, you might say, you can teach two hours on this. I could teach ten hours on this one lesson. So to pack it all into two hours, this, this class is going to be very fast-paced. Um, but it's going to provide so much revelation, it will change your life. Now, the verse, chapter 3 and chapter 4 is verse by verse through the entire Song of Solomon. Four chapters the first week, four chapters the next week. Inside of the Song of Solomon, you have the first four chapters is the bride's inheritance, of G, inheritance in Jesus, and the last four chapters is the bridegroom's inheritance in the bride. So we have this shift, so that's why we split them up four and four. We're going to do the first four, which is your inheritance, and the last four, which is Jesus' inheritance, and we're going to see the understanding of maturity. That's what the entire Song of Solomon is about. It's about the progression of maturity. And five, we're going to talk about the progressions. I would love to be able to explain every one of the progressions as we go through them in the verse by verse, but like I said, uh, when we did these in our daily teaching, they were 30 minutes apiece each chapter. So four chapters is two hours. And if we go through them quick, we're going to try to get all four chapters in two hours. So we're not going to be able to go through every point of revelation in the progressions, in the understanding of maturity. So we're going to spend a whole lesson on that. We have many daily teachings on that. Number six, we're going to talk about a laid down lovesick bride. We're going to talk about what is this revelation of a laid down lovesick bride. And I'm going to come back to that in a minute. And then from 7 to 11, you have John 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now, John 13 to 17 is Jesus' final dissertation before the cross. This is the last message he preached to the disciples. John 13 to 17 is two days after Jesus preaches Matthew 24, 25. So being this his, is his last message, we want to understand it. And there is so many things we're going to talk about in there. If I, if I start teaching it now, we'll be here until Jesus comes back. I absolutely love these, these passages. 
in John 13 to 17. And we're going to go verse by verse through them. We're, we're going to take our time. We're going to understand. We're going to unpack all of this. I We have two, three weeks of daily teachings based off of these five chapters. One, two, three, four, five. Five chapters. So all of these... All of these uh, verse, all of these topics are central focused around a couple of, of main words from God. Now, the first word from God is a word that a good friend of mine spoke to me, and she said that Jesus is coming back for a laid down love sick bride. Now, we have an entire week to explain what that means, so I'm not going to do it right this second. But the understanding of a laid down lovesick bride is what we are going to be discussing when we talk about all of these. The fullness, the, you know, the love of God, all of the Song of Solomon. All of this is focused around receiving the revelation of Jesus as a bridegroom and the identity that you now have as a cherished bride coming inside of the fullness that's the second word the word from god dealing with hebrews 6 where god says take them into the fullness and we're going to explain all of this so many people never open up the gold mine that is the song of solomon it's an eight chapter love song it's the progression of maturity in a believer's life and for me personally it changed and revolutionized my life and gave me so much of a deep understanding on the heart of God when I saw myself as a cherished bride and I saw him as a bridegroom with desire with a bridegroom with desire so we're going to we're going to be unpacking this in its in its entirety and in its fullness if you can't already tell this curriculum is over 100 pages long the, the standard 26-week class, the, the normal discipleship program, the BSM discipleship curriculum, was 180. So this is over half the amount of pages, and you have half the amount of weeks. But the revelation that's packed in here is phenomenal, and it's so foundational in your walk with God. Now, I want to discuss a few points before we move forward and you already know how to take our curriculums if you are inside of this class, but just to overview, I always like to make sure we go over it in case anybody is taking this as a co-requisite along with our standard class, or maybe you took an exemption just to understand some of these principles. So I wanna go over some few things. First things first, at the back of your curriculum, it shows you know our name, our address, website, all the information for our contact information so if you want to reach out to us please do that just as our standard class all the classes under the topics in the table of contents have a completion line if you are at chicago and you are a part of blank slate ministries obviously bring your curriculum to class with you when we teach live and you'll be able to have it initial off then if not bring it once a week and we will initial the book as we go if you are taking this curriculum outside of the city of Chicago and you are participating with us online, once you have finished, the class is finished after 12 weeks, you can mail us your curriculum. I will go through, make sure everything's filled out, initial the weeks, and mail you your certificate of completion. You must have a book signed off on to receive your certificate of completion. So that's how we're going to do it, just like our standard class when it comes to uh, the advanced curriculum. Now, a couple points. The same way we do our standard class is the same way we're gonna be doing our advanced curriculum. This is week by week, once a week. This is our introduction. So next week is topic number one. You must have completed your homework going into topic number one. The same as our standard class, some of them say questions, some of them say meaning, uh, when we go through Song of Solomon, it will only say meaning because I want you to just write the interpretation down. Now, if you are taking this class on your own at whatever pace, maybe you're taking this after this semester is over, all of the answers are already online. Do not, for any reason, pull the answer PDF before you have first studied the material. 
one of the things I always like to tell people, it's not about finishing. It's not about completing a course. It's about learning. So you want to go through each of these verses and questions on your own first. You want to download additional resources as they become available. You want to send questions in after we have done the lesson. And then you want to get the answers afterwards. Wait until we've taught the lesson for then you to go and get the answers. I want you to do the material on your own first. That's one honoring of how we like to do this, but I don't want to remove the PDF so that you can't. I want them available for you, but I want you to go through the material first because I want you to see this is how I see it and then this is what the answer is. Does my, does my answer line up with the correct answer? Maybe I'm not seeing the full revelation or maybe I got, I got it. I, I, I'm hearing, I'm right on point with God. So I want to make sure that you do it that way. Now, I will say this because obviously this being our advanced curriculum and God moved on my heart in 2022 with this material is I have taught this in our daily teachings. I'm going to go ahead and bring this point up because if you are with our church, you will know that you just heard verse by verse Song of Solomon. We've done that before in our, in our daily teachings. John 13 to 17, we did that. And the answer would be yes. We have went through every bit of the material that is in this curriculum in our daily teachings, or at least an overview of it. What we're going to discuss in this curriculum, I'm going to add on and take what I've already taught at least once in our daily teachings, and I'm going to bring forth even more. Deep calls unto deep, and I'm pulling up a well of revelation on this. So if you say, hey, I... I did my daily teachings, you know, maybe I'll watch those and take the class and then I don't have to come to class. It will not produce all of the fullness of the revelation you need. This, this understanding what you need out of this curriculum will only come for you participating every single week in the class. So please make sure you are attending every single week. Now, a couple last minute points before we finish. One. Uh, on our website, if you are obviously in this class, you have now access to the Participant tab. The Participant tab does give you all of the answers, additional resources, and questions to our advanced curriculum. So please make sure that you go online and you pull those things week by week as we go through it. Just like in the former class, you can go to the very bottom, there's a spot to fill out questions. Fill out questions pertaining to the material that's in the curriculum. And we do it week by week. So wait until after you've heard the material before you ask the questions. Because nine times out of ten, I will answer your question before you even ask it if you will just watch week by week. Uh, and do not ask questions. I'm, I'm not going to be answering questions that pertain to our first class and our second class. Make sure all the questions pertain to the second curriculum. Um, obviously, you have graduated the first class. You are in level two. You can also take our end times curriculum, our marriage curriculum. Everything's going to be available to you as we have more syllabuses and curriculums come forth. Um, but this class is definitely going to be um, one of my favorite classes. Now, a couple last minute things that I just want to say before I wrap up. Um, please make sure you share. Please make sure you share. Share with all your friends. Share with all your relatives. Put it on your Facebook. Put it on your Instagram. Share the videos on YouTube. The material that we're teaching in this class is going to bless you and change your life forever. But to be a good steward of what God is doing in your life when you receive, you must turn around and give. And I, I recommend not only sharing what you learn, but share the course itself. Tell people what you're learning. Tell people to take the class. Because what revelation you may give to them will not be everything that they could receive directly from God if they go through the class. So please make sure that you're passing this along. There's an exemption form. Maybe somebody's new and they, they want to they learn more about this advanced stuff, but they haven't taken our level one. They can take both of them at the same time. So I just recommend you please share be a good steward of what God is trying to do when it comes to advancing the kingdom of God 
the word and the gospel. Now, I have two last minute announcements and then we're going to be finished for today with our introduction. I will not be putting the verse references on the bottom of the screen. As you have seen, there is no references came up and there is no answers coming up. This will be for the entire curriculum. Just like our standard discipleship class, you have a curriculum. You are supposed to follow along in your curriculum. Your curriculum has the verses and the questions and you can go on after class and download the answers. You can obviously write the answers. Please make sure you do as we go through it. But the answers are available online. So I will not be putting references on the screen. I will not be putting any material on the screen outside of the logo that's right here on the bottom of the screen. There will be nothing else pop up. You will have to have your curriculum to understand every bit of the material that's in this class. So if you have not enrolled and you are just watching this video online for the first time, go to blankslateministries.org slash store and enroll in the curriculum. This is a leader guide, but you can get the participant guide to be able to follow along so that you'll have all the information. Because what we're going to teach, we're going to go through it, but there will be no reference codes to write it down and to figure out what's in the book. You're going to need to enroll and purchase the curriculum. Uh, the greatest part, it's only $50. It's not expensive for what this is. As our standard class, I've said it before, $35, it could be a $1,000 class, college level class. Um, this might be more. This is, this is, this is a powerful 4,000 level, senior level college curriculum course in the Word of God. Uh, and it's only $50. So that's what I recommend. And all of the additional resources that are going to come with it, are free now that's the final point i want to get into um a court as we do this with all of our curriculums i'm going to make this point very clear when you have paid and enrolled in the curriculum i will not at any point during the class receive an offering we do not do ties and offerings based on our discipleship classes i do these classes as a teaching and I want to give to you the revelation that God has given me out of the Word of God. We charge because the books cost money to make. But other than that, we are not taking tithes and offerings inside of the class. So if you come to class, you watch us online, you're not going to hear us take a tithe or an offering at the beginning or the end of the message. What I do recommend is that if you would like to sow into the ministry, and this is the only time I will say this, that you sow. I, I ask that you pay tithes to where you get fed. So if you're getting fed from us, then sow and pay your tithes here. If you're getting fed somewhere else, you know, sow there also. But if this is the ministry where you're receiving the revelation that you have in the Word of God and the, and, the, and the actual teaching, then I pray you sow your tithes here. I pray you give offerings here. You can do that at blankslateministries.org slash give or you can mail it at P.O. Box 53101, Chicago, Illinois, 60653. The address is in the back of your curriculum, and you can go on the website to, to the tab that says Give to sow your seed into the ministry. i just like to make sure that's clear ahead of time because I'm not going to take tithes and offerings every week, but I do want to make sure that you're sowing if you are getting fed here. And I want to make sure that you're giving so that it can be given back unto you. You must agree with the Word of God. Jesus said a disciple is not greater than the master, but if you will follow after the master, you will be as great as him. So you And he tied that in with giving. So I want to make sure that you are giving. If you are a leader and you happen to have a leader guide and you're watching through to teach this curriculum at your church or in a small group and you ever have any questions, please reach out. My name is Pastor Cody and I will be more than happy to assist you as a leader Everybody else should be participants, and if you have questions or you need anything, please always reach out to us. But let me bless you. Father, I thank you. I pray you bless everybody under the sound of my voice. Wisdom, revelation, and spiritual seeds sown through the word and this curriculum. God, let it change us into the image of Christ. Renew our mind to be transformed into the image, conformed into the image of Christ. God, grow us up in the measure and the stature of the fullness of Christ. God, let us experience all of you. And we thank you for all that you're going to do. In Jesus' mighty name, 
amen and amen. Topic number one is next week, the fullness of God. We will see you next Tuesday. Have a great day.